Hey everyone, my name is Chloe, and today I'm here with part three of my favorites of 2021 um, series that is going on. So if you haven't seen these, I will link down below. I've done my top 10 um, women's fiction romance books of 2021 and my top five thrillers of 2021. And today I'm here to do my top five middle grade. So um, I'm kind of just going in order of what I've been reading, really. I feel like women's fiction is where I love to be. I love to read those. I, but I really like to sprinkle in thrillers with those. And then my daughter, she's four, um, but she is very like advanced and into chapter books and just loves reading. And she's like independently, she's not reading chapter books independently by any means, but she is starting to read and it's just so fun. I have loved it so much. So some of these are going to be like younger middle grade and then some are going to be ones that I have read independently. So here are my top five middle grade of 2021. So the first one is Amelia Bedelia Means Business by um, Herman Parrish. So Amelia Bedelia, she is a classic and we just fell in love with her um, this last year. So we read all of the Amelia Bedelia series and there's also like Amelia Bedelia and Friends that we haven't um, really do dove into yet. But Amelia Bedelia, if you have not heard of her, she is just, she's like, takes everything so literal and it's a really good way to like introduce your kids to kind of weird American slang. Um, and it was just so cute. I really liked the books, um, all of them. But the first, Amelia uh, Bedelia Means Business, was probably our favorite. And I just love her, like, entrepreneurial spirit. And just, she's so spunky and funny. And we had a great time reading them. So they're such good, um, like, read-alouds or read-alongs with your kids. I would highly recommend if you're interested. And probably have girls. Um, I would say it's mostly a, like, female-driven story. But Next is um, Piper Morgan Makes a Splash. So this is the only Piper Morgan book we read. We read it from the library. Um, it's by Stephanie Fari. And Piper Morgan is raised by a single mom. And she, um, her mom does like a bunch of different random temp jobs. So in this one, she's working at like a pool company. And they are trying to film a commercial while they're there. And so Piper Morgan wants to like get in on this commercial and she's just so spunky and funny and adventurous and like she goes with her mom to all these different temp jobs so every book is kind of like a different adventure for Piper and I love this. I don't know why we haven't picked up the rest because they are so good so I would definitely recommend um, check out Piper Morgan. Next is Nancy Clancy Soccer Mania. So um, Fancy Nancy, she is a thing in this house. We have all of the like little board, well not board books, but like little books. Um, we watch the show occasionally and the Nancy Clancy chapter books are so good. So we read the whole series. Um, soccer Mania was probably our favorite just because my daughter plays soccer and she just thought it was super fun. But the Nancy Clancy books, if you've got a little girl or kid who likes um, Fancy Nancy, the soccer book or the chapter books are just as good and I would highly recommend. And at the end of the series, you get to find out what happens to the Clancy family. How does it wrap up? And it's really fun, really cute. I would highly recommend. Um, next is Mia Mayhem. And I would say this might be our favorite as like read-alongs together. Um, Mia Mayhem. She is awesome. So she is this young girl who discovers that she is a superhero. Her mom and dad are both superheroes and so is she. And so she goes to like a regular elementary school and then she, afterwards she goes to pit, the pits, um, which is like, shoot, now I'm, I can't remember. Um, something about superheroes and training. It's like a school for superheroes. So she's not exactly sure what her talent is. Like her dad is a vet and his like superhero talent is that he can talk to animals. Her mom, I can't remember what hers is. But so Mia learns to fly and she learns like all the kind of standard stuff that comes with being a superhero. But she's also trying to discover what her talent is. And so she does all these different things and she's just awesome. She's got one, fr like she makes friends within um, the Pitts Academy where uh, who are other superheroes. And then she's got one little boy who is her best friend in real life. And I just love the friendship. I love what an awesome girl Mia is. <laughs> There's a lot of good, like, friendship lessons um, within this story, and we love them. They are still being written. The next one comes out, I think, in August. We read them all. I pre-ordered that one. My daughter wrote, um, wrote a letter to Mia, and then I 
I wrote her back. Um, and it's like the best thing ever. Like she is in love with me and mayhem. And so am I, they are so like, they're so enjoyable for both of us. And then the last book that I'm going to talk about is one that I read independently, and this is not a new book. Um, I really didn't read that much middle grade independently this year just because I was reading so much with my daughter. We read, like I said, all of the Amelia Bedelias, all of the Nancy Clancy, um, all of Mia Mayhem, and then we also read a, a lot of other things kind of sprinkled in. So I didn't read that much middle grade on my own last year, but one stands out, and that is The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. So this one is a heartbreaking story about a ma- a boy whose dad um, is a part of the Nazi party. It's during World War II, and they go um, to a camp, and they he sees out his window a boy on the other side of the fence, and he is the boy in the striped pajamas because he is in the prisoner's uniform. And so this little boy wants to be friends, and so he sneaks into the prison camp um, to be with his friend. And it was just so eye-opening and heartbreaking to see um, what we know was going on through the eyes of a child is just like, I it, it's heartbreaking and just like brings even more light to the evil and the insanity and um, just how miserable it was and like, oh, and what really matters, like we're all human and the love between people and it just was so good and I loved it. Um, and I, I, I just could not get over this book. I loved it so much. And I even recommended it to friends who are not middle grade readers and they loved it. And, um, I think there's, I listened to an interview with John Boyne and he, that like, there's a question of, is this a book for middle grade? Is this an adult book? Um, it's about a young boy. I think he's like nine. So I would say it's middle grade, but I think readers of all ages can both enjoy, Enjoy is kind of a hard word to say, but both get a lot about out of the story and um, have a have a meaningful reading experience. So those are my top five middle grade books of 2021. If you have read any of those series, let me know what you think. Um, if you have any recommendations based on those, let me know. We read um, some Jada Jones. She is a, a girl who loves science, and we liked those a lot. Um, We did read Judy Moody, and I'm not a huge fan. We read some Amber Brown. She's all right. Um, We read some Ramona and Beezus. That's different reading as an adult for sure. Um, A lot of these, like, I have on my shelf. And the reason I didn't, like, I'm just putting in pictures is because my daughter, after we read them together, she likes to read them to herself. And so they are all over the house. I have no idea where these books are. But, um Yeah, so a lot of these ones that I do have on my shelf from when I was a kid, now as an adult, I'm like, these kids are bratty. So, um, yeah, that is what's going on. Let me know if you have any recommendations based off those lists, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.